Hey guys, Vass here from Aussie RC Playground, and yes, I have got myself a Latrax alias. Uh, for those of you who don't follow the channel, you know that recently I tested out a uh, Halimax 1SQV cam, which has a little built-in camera on it, uh, and it's a tiny little quad, it's only a small little thing. And uh, one of the things I really enjoyed about that quad was actually flying it outside, but uh, because the quad is so small, you really have to wait for a fairly still day before you can really take it outside, because it kind of gets blown around a bit. It does okay with a small breeze, but you know anything sort of a little bit bigger, it kind of struggles, you know what I mean? So I decided to uh, up the ante, and uh, what better way to do it than with a brand new product. The uh, Latrax Alias uh, comes in a uh, variety of different colors. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Completely ready to run, it's got chargers, batteries, remotes, uh, there's a whole lot of cool stunts. Uh, I'm not gonna open the box, I'm just gonna, you know, get rid of it because uh, who wants to see a guy opening a box right so this is the quad here that's the color that I went for I went for the orange and I went for the orange because if you can see just there in the background we've got the uh, telluride which is also orange so uh, what better way to do it than to uh, match it up with uh, with an orange quad so that's the quad there uh, I'll, I'll talk to you more a, a little bit about the quad uh, just very shortly but I'll show you some of the other stuff that it comes with We've got this uh, sort of uh, funky looking PlayStation type of remote. Uh, for those of you who own Xboxes, you'll probably be saying, boo, well, sorry, but Xbox remotes are retarded. So this uh, is, I think, a little bit better. Um, so you've got all the, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend anyone, I'm just kidding around, okay? Uh, so uh, uh, you've got your trimmings along here and uh, along this side here as well. You've got an on and off switch, and uh, I'm sure you guys would have heard the uh, little uh, beep. It's got a tiny little speaker just built into the front here. Uh, very cool thing about this is that it uh, you know prompts you with some beeps uh, as you're setting up the quads and your trimmings and all that type of stuff and it also gives you a warning beep when the battery is running low which I think is very very cool a feature that I did not have in that Helimax 1SQV cam so this would be really cool to have uh, rather than looking for a flashing light or something like that in a tiny little quad up in the sky at least now you'll get a bit of a, a uh, sound an audio signal to let you know that your battery is running low and it's time to bring the quad in so uh, it's got a couple of buttons at the front here as well, uh, one here, one there. Uh, I have plugged it in already, I'm not going to lie, I uh, have sort of tried it out because I was really anxious to. Um, but uh, what I found is uh, this button here actually turns the lights on and off, which is very, very cool. Um, so that's the remote. Uh, they give us a very tiny little Allen key, I don't even know if you guys can see that, it's only small. Uh, and they also give us a LiPo battery pack, which is this guy here. Uh, this one is 650 milliamps, uh, 1S, uh, 3.7 volt, and it's only just a tiny little thing. Um, and of course, they also give us a charger. Now, this is a USB charger, so you are going to need to uh, plug this guy into, you know, your laptop or little uh, phone charger type of uh, device to plug that in. And of course, some spare blades, uh, which is cool. And some manuals. Now this one here looks really boring and long. We won't worry too much about that one, but this one's pretty cool. Look at all the pretty pictures. <laughs> um, so uh, this is actually uh, quite good because it goes through step-by-step uh, step of all the stunts that you can actually do with the quad. So um, if you're not sure about how you're going to set it up, because uh, it does have different modes to it, um, just go to your manual there and it'll help you uh, set it all up. Now, Going back to the quad, a couple of really cool features I have found about this guy. Uh, number one is that it has little rubber feet on the bottom of it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but uh, there are little rubber feet on the bottom of the, um, of the blades. And basically what that means is when you land the quad, it tends to uh, sort of stick to the ground. It doesn't bounce around like the, the uh, Halimax quad that I had did. So every time you land it, it kind of, kind of had that little bounce on it. Uh, this is a lot quieter and a lot better. Uh, another interesting fact I found about it is that it actually works with like a, a spur gear and, and a pinion off the motor whilst the uh, the little tiny Helimax had the blades directly onto the motor shaft so a little bit different. Um, this is where your battery mounts underneath and I guess I could do this very very quickly for you. Slide it in there. There it is. See with the battery in there. Now the battery plugs in just into that little red guy here and it's tucked away and I didn't realize this at the start when I got it but that actually pulls out you can see there comes out and then once you plug it in and I'll do this very quickly for you da, da, da. here we go look at that it's got lights and everything see can you see the lights on 
looks pretty cool, huh? So once that's plugged in, rather than having this wire kind of dangling on the front of the, uh, of the quad, you can actually tuck it in. I'm going to try and show you this best way I can. Can you see that little latch just in there? All right? The cables actually tuck into there really nice and neat. And it sort of clips in if I can do it. Clips in there like that. Tuck your wires away. And it's really nice and neat. See? No more wires sort of dangling down. You can see the blue LED light flashing on the back. That's telling us that it, the, uh, the battery needs charging because, as I said, I've had a little bit of a play around with it. So um, it's very, very cool. It's very stable. Uh, one of the things that I was really, really keen on trying was um, in the um, Latrax ad of this quad, they, there's this one scene where the guy just grabs the quad, throws it into the air, gives it some throttle, and the thing levels out and sort of comes back to him. Uh, believe it or not, that actually does happen. Um, I tried it and it works perfectly well. Probably not a good idea to try it indoors because I did slam it into the wall a couple of times, but um, it does work. Uh, I have tried it. It levels itself out very well. Um, so that's the uh, Latrax alias quad. Uh, it's sort of blinking at me at the moment because uh, the battery is, is pretty much dead. So um, I'm going to unplug this guy, recharge it, and uh, you know hope that in the next couple of days I'll get some decent weather and get some footage of this guy flying out there for you. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.